Without intervention, superpigs could soon invade Alberta cities, researcher warns. In Canada, residents have been warned to be on guard against a possible invasion of wild boars. The vast majority of wild boars in Alberta are hybrids. A researcher describes them as superpigs. He adds, they're the worst invasive large mammal on the planet. Wild boars can weigh up to 150 kilograms. They are protected from the cold by a woolly undercoat. Highly adaptive, they can travel more than 40 kilometers in a day. Their ability to survive in almost any climate makes them among the most prolific invasive species in North America. Roaming swine have been spotted inside town limits, prompting the community to send out a safety advisory. Be calm and move slowly, reads the notice. Do not corner or provoke the animal. Let's see some comments on Reddit. So, super bacon? The taste of these pigs depends on what they eat. If they eat berries and such, they taste good. If they eat garbage and rotten vegetables, they taste terrible. That province is full of people wanting to shoot their guns, they now have a prime hunting target. For decades, Alberta has waged a battle against wild boar, a term that refers to the Eurasian wild boar but also to hybrids of domestic pigs and Eurasian wild boar. The province recently stepped up eradication efforts with increased surveillance, trapping, and cash bounties in exchange for the animal's ears. Recent sightings are a reminder that the elusive animals remain a threat to rural and urban habitats, said Ryan Brook, an associate professor of agriculture and director of the Canada Wild Pig Research Project. Wild boars are expanding their range and could soon move from the bush into Alberta cities, Brook said. They're incredibly mobile. Very smart. They eat almost anything. They can survive in a huge range of habitats. And so this is, unfortunately, exactly what we should expect to see more of in the future. Aggressive action will be required to keep the invaders from becoming a permanent fixture in backyards, city streets and town parks, Brooks said. Any community south of the boreal forest border is at risk, he said. In Lamont, residents are on edge, said Kirk Perrin, the town's mayor. The province confirms reports of property damage in the area. It just shows that an invasive species like this can come in and really throw a wrench in your plans, something that maybe you didn't really plan for until it's on your doorstep, Perrin said. In Barhead, 150 kilometers northwest of Lamont, residents' phones lit up earlier this month with an advisory from the town's crime watch alert system. Three boars were spotted running through residential streets, and on the grounds of the provincial offices. It was determined that the pigs were not feral but recent agricultural escapees, said Jennifer Peterson, a communications coordinator for the town of Barhead. The boars were en route to the butcher when they broke free, she said. Two were destroyed. One remains at large. Even a lone pig on the loose is disconcerting, Peterson said. Alberta's wild boar problem started with escaped farm pigs. The province said it is actively trapping, conducting surveillance and closely monitoring wild boar in several counties. It said a new bounty program that rewards hunters and trappers for killing boar will help government officials better track and eradicate the feral swine. Wild boars usually live in the forest, emerging to devour crops, contaminate water sources by wallowing in wetlands, and harass livestock. They carry diseases that can be transmitted to domestic pigs. Urbanized populations of the pigs found in the southern United States and European cities, including Berlin, have proven incredibly destructive, Brooks said. The animals root devour flower beds and parkland, cause havoc in traffic, and attack people and pets. Edmonton and Saskatoon will likely be among the first Canadian cities to contend with urban wild boars, Brooks said. We've been monitoring here in Saskatoon for almost two years now with trail cameras in the city, with the notion that it's not if they arrive, it's when they arrive. There is still time to keep boars out of Alberta cities, he said, but communities need to act fast, Brooks said. He said Alberta's bounty program won't help eradication efforts, and may have the effect of making the animals more elusive and nocturnal. However, he said increased surveillance and trapping efforts should prove effective. We're really at a crossroads, Brooks said. Are we going to get ahead of this, and start to see some wins, or is this going to get out of hand and become simply impossible?